Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's comedy show. Depictions for dummies! You know, politics these days is like a spicy reality TV show. We got a new episode unfolding in Florida, with Governor Ron DeSantis feeling the burn as two local Republicans jump ship and endorse none other than... Drumroll, please. Now, folks, DeSantis and Trump are both like pickles in a chip aisle. They're big, sour, and confuse people on where they actually belong. But Ron DeSantis is feeling discombobulated, because get this, his very own allies are ditching him for Trump. Can you imagine how that feels? It's like your dog leaving you for your neighbor after he buys a bigger bone, folks. But wait, it's not all bad news for DeSantis. Seems like he's taking a page out of Disney's playbook and spreading some magic of his own. Well, sorta. Apparently, his team has been working like sweaty bees to pressure representatives not to endorse Trump. Both am I. And now, ladies and gents, let's talk about the runaway bride. I mean... The defecting Republicans. Ryan Mast and John Rutherford. Yep, the 6th and 7th Congressional Florida Republicans who traded DeSantis in for Trump. It's like swapping a compact car for a rusty pickup truck that's still somehow running. Rutherford, our former sheriff, tweets his support for Trump, claiming that under Trump's leadership, America was safer, more secure, and prosperous. I don't know about you guys, but that's as believable as me telling you the Earth is flat. <laughs> DeSantis, on the other hand, has been getting some lukewarm receptions lately as he pitches himself around. It's like trying to sell ice cream in the North Pole. People are just not biting. <laughs> as this political soap opera continues, we'll surely bring you more updates. Will DeSantis bounce back, or is he destined to be Trump's runner-up? Who knows? Until next time, folks! And remember, this podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.